Boy, this is going to get to you. Two little girls removed from a dirty, drug-infested house thanks to a tip from family members. Tonight, two people are in jail, and it's a case that hit home for Clark County Sheriff Gene Kelly. So much so, he went and made one of the arrests himself. Kelly May is live in Springfield with this story you'll see only on ABC 22. Kelly? Well, Jack and Deb, Sheriff Kelly says he wanted them out of this house that he says was deplorable and filthy when he went inside to make that arrest and the girls in not much better conditions. Now tonight, he hopes he and the grandmother's actions will stop this cycle of heroin epidemic for those girls. What would have happened if they would have died right there in the house? What would the girls, the girls would have done? It's a thought that haunts Debbie Sowards every night. Her two granddaughters sitting in filth while their mother gets high on heroin. You don't know what it's like to go to bed at night and wonder if you're going to get that call. These children don't have a chance and their parents can't see their responsibility because of their addiction. Family had been calling Gene Kelly's office for weeks trying to get help for the girls. He came out Tuesday to the home on Lexington Ave to personally be part of the arrests. The girls' mom, Ashley Tackett, and this man, Dwight McClanahan, both charged with theft, accused of stealing guns, lawnmowers from family members to sell to get drug money. This addiction is so strong that you'll steal from your family members and you'll rob anyone. I just want her to get help so that she can be a better mother. Debbie couldn't hold back tears knowing she made a tough decision to put people behind bars for the well-being of her grandchildren. Sheriff Kelly thought of his own grandkids and couldn't let it go on. They were just two little sweet little girls, two and five, and they just sat on the couch and, you know, all the uniforms and everybody walking through the house, they saw it all, saw their parents put in handcuffs and we marched them out. Now tonight, Tackett and McClanahan are in the Clark County Jail. I'm told their bonds are set at $2,500, but family members tell me they don't want to bond them out because they also want to see child endangering charges for what happened right here. Reporting live in Springfield, Kelly May, ABC 22 News.